how we're peeling it. So that's smooth peel. Beautiful. That's what I'm looking for. It's nice and opaque. Uh, so now we're going to do the back. So this design has a lot of lines and has a, a distorted kind of thing. Uh, DTF is not great with those designs. It still works, but you kind of get um, like some of the design can peel off and whatnot. Like, I don't know if you can hear that. It's having a hard time like kind of peeling. So what I like to do I don't like to really go slow. This is just video purposes, but I like to just peel this off completely just in one go, just like that. And it didn't really leave any residue, but I'll tell you right now with all this like empty space, it's like r rasterizing um, or half toning a shirt. Oh my God. It feels so soft and it feels like it's in the shirt. It's crazy, but it's not really recommended by a lot of printers like to do like these kind of intricate designs, but whatever, I still said, go ahead, print it. Cause I don't care. You gotta try it out. So I'm gonna press this for um, about like eight seconds. And I hate this heat press. I'm about to upgrade it soon. Jesus. I'm like struggling to just pop this open. This is the worst design ever from like heat press nation. It's a 15 by 15 craft rope. I do recommend it if you're starting out, but with like, I'm just over it cause I'm constantly using it. And uh, yeah, I'm ready to upgrade from this press. I've said it multiple times. Yeah, I'm gonna get me an auto open. I'm just tired of messing up my wrist doing this crap. I'm still looking into which one I should get. So far, I've been contemplating on the Walla Press uh, auto open one. I don't know yet, we'll see. But I do like the Sure Pressure one from um, Heat Press Nation. But look at that, beautiful second press stretch stretch test no cracking it's in the fabric i don't know if you can see but it's in there that's when you know you've pressed it correctly when you could actually start seeing the the fabric it's in there let's do a little stretch test on here yeah well i'm not doing it right Yeah, that's gonna hold up. So now let's go into the neck tag. And this is where this cricket comes into play. This little thing, you're gonna be like, oh, it's a waste of investment. No, it has saved me. Um, so I'm just gonna do this neck tag placement. You can flip it inside out or you could do it this way, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and just flip it inside out. It's probably just easier to do it that way. But just make sure you bring up the collar, you align them. That way it's out of the way when you're pressing it. So now I'm just gonna line this up in the middle. It's a tear away tag. You've gotta love those. Um, but yeah. Line them up. Put that on there and then just apply some firm pressure with this thing. But my neck tags are too big for this, but it still will work. We'll just kind of count like 10 seconds. I think that might be good. But yeah, usually, I mean, not everybody has the same same size uh, 
tags. And yes, that was a hot peel if you're curious. So just do the same thing. And I'll just keep doing it for a few more seconds. I am really putting a lot of pressure in this, so making sure it sticks. That should be good. Oh yeah, <laughs> I think that was like beyond too good. <laughs> It's in there. <laughs> but anyway. So yeah. I wanted to show you that little heat press as to how I use it. And now I'm going to show you the rest of. I guess like how I pack my shirts. And get my orders ready to go. Uh, the only thing I'm not going to show you. Is me printing a shipping label. That's just. Yeah. It's just pointless at this time. And anyway. We're going to move this way.